Uh, well, everybody, today we're going to discuss how to use simple past tense using a uh, verbal sentence or verbal statement. Uh, well, <coughs> let's pay attention to these items. So the first use of simple past tense is we use simple past tense to talk about something that happened once in the past. So uh, when you are talking about simple past tense, when you are talking about the past activities, we have to use a uh, verb to. Uh, next, we use verb to in the statement. So in the statement, using simple past tense, we have to use verb to. Uh, so remember that there are some kinds of verb in English. Um, we call verb one, we call verb two, and we call verb three. So uh, later on, we will discuss uh, deeper about these uh, topics. And then number three, regular verb. There are two kinds of verbs. So number one is regular verb. Uh, how is the, the way to form regular verb? We have to add ed, ed after the verb. We add ed after the verb. So let's pay attention. For examples, watch. Uh, verb one is watch. So verb two, it becomes watched. Watched. Next, walk. Walked. Smile. Smiled. Work, worked. Uh, next, call, called. Answer, answered. Knock, knocked. Kill, killed. Uh, let's pay attention that uh, verb two. The difference between verb one and verb two is we use ed after the verb. So look at this, and look at this. So this is the main verb or verb one, and this is. Uh, Verb 2, we use in simple past tense. Well, in English, there is also a regular verb that we uh, form like this. So, verb 1 and verb 2 are different. Different in writing and different in pronunciation. So, let's uh, check. Uh, this is verb 1, speak. Verb 2, spoke. Run. Verb 2, ran. Take. Verb 2, took. Get, verb 2, got. Have, verb 2, had. Leave, verb 2, left. Teach, verb 2, taught. Uh, next, understand becomes understood. Write becomes wrote. Send becomes sent. Bring becomes brought. Hang becomes hung. Sweep becomes swept. Fly becomes flew. So these ones and these ones are used in simple past tense when you are making a sentence forming in simple past tense. So we have to use verb two, this one and this one. So uh, we don't have to use this because this is uh, used only in simple present tense. Uh, well, to express a simple past tense, we also use simple past times. So the times that we use is uh, this one. So let's pay attention. At verb of time, we use in simple past tense. So number one is yesterday. So in Bahasa, we say kemarin. Last night, semalam. Last month, bulan yang lalu. Last Friday, hari Jumat yang lalu. Last week, minggu yang lalu. Last month, bulan yang lalu. Last year, tahun yang lalu. Last January, Januari yang lalu. Uh, when you also tell a story or tell your experience or tell a, a narrative story, so we have to use sometimes we use this. Uh, number one is once, suatu hari, one day, suatu hari, once upon a time, pada suatu hari, long ago, dahulu kala, long time ago, pada zaman dahulu, one week ago, satu minggu yang lalu, one month ago. Satu bulan yang lalu, some weeks ago, beberapa minggu yang lalu. These ones are times that we use in simple past tense when you are going to express a simple past tense or making a, a sentence in simple past form, or when you are telling a story that happened in the past time uh, of your life. Uh, well, so here is the pattern how to formulate a simple past tense. 
So the first uh, formulation is affirmative. In affirmative statement, or we call positive statement, uh, here is the formulation subject plus verb to plus object plus adverb of time. So the adverb of time is uh, usually put in, in the end of the sentence. Next, uh, let's pay attention to these examples. Number one is she joined English club class at school yesterday. She joined English club class at school yesterday. Dia bergabung uh, kelas klub bahasa Inggris di sekolah kemarin. So pay attention, joined. So this should be uh, verb two. Next number two, Danny bought new laptop last night. Danny bought new laptop last night. Pay attention, uh, Danny membeli laptop baru semalam. So pay attention with the verb. Bought is verb two, and last night is the past time. Next number three, they watched Godzilla, the newest movie at the cinema yesterday. They watched Godzilla, the newest movie at the cinema yesterday. So pay attention that watch should be found in, in verb 2. Uh, mereka menonton Godzilla, movie atau film terbaru di cinema kemarin. Number four, Ade went to school by his new car this morning. Ade went to school by his new car this morning. So pay attention, the verb should be found in verb 2. Uh, so uh, we also use uh, this morning to express or to show the time that happened in the past time. Uh, well, to change a sentence into negative form, uh, we have to understand the formulation. So the negative form in simple past tense is subject plus date plus not plus verb 1 plus adverb of time. Remember to use did here using a helping verb uh, and then the verb 1 uh, back to infinitive or verb 1. Next, uh, let's pay attention with the sentences. Number 1, I slept well last night. I slept well last night. Uh, look at this, slept is uh, in verb 2 and last night is showing the past activity. So this is in positive. When we change this into negative, we have to use did and not. Uh, sometimes we say didn't and we can also say say longer did not but we contracted uh, this becomes didn't I didn't sleep well last night and then uh, look at this sleep uh, it came from slept but because it's already in simple past tense we put it back into main verb or become sleep I didn't sleep well last night so this is in negative next number two Rani came to the office yesterday. Rani came to the office yesterday. Uh, look at this, came, it comes from come. Uh, this is in, in simple past tense uh, or positive form. So when we change this into negative, it becomes Rani didn't come. Uh, Rani didn't come to the office yesterday. Rani tidak datang ke kantor kemarin. So let's pay attention with the verb. So here came and in negative form it becomes calm. Next, number three, Adi won English debate competition last month. Adi won English debate competition last month. Pay attention with the won, this is verb two, and this is in positive form. So when we change uh, the, the statement into negative, uh, let's pay attention. Adi didn't win. Uh, look at the verb. Won here, verb two, but here we use uh, uh, verb 1. Why? Because we already used did. So did here is a helping verb that comes from do. But because it is already in simple past tense, we change did. Okay? Adi didn't win English debate competition last month. Adi tidak menang kompetisi uh, debat bahasa Inggris bulan yang lalu. So this is in negative form. And this is how to change a positive sentence into negative sentence or into negative statement when you want to uh, change sentences in English, telling about your experiences or telling about your story that happened uh, in the past time. Um, when we change a sentence into interrogative sentence, for example, you're making a question, you're uh, making an interrogative sentence, you're asking someone what he did, where she went, uh, what they uh, did in the past time or in the story, here is the formulation. So interrogative form uh, formed in did. So the, the form is did plus subject plus object plus 
object plus adverb of time. Uh, look at this, uh, did is already past time, so the verb should uh, back to infinity. <laughs> well, let's look at these examples and try to understand. Did you see my bag on the table this afternoon? Did you see my bag on the table this afternoon? Apakah kamu melihat tas saya di atas meja tadi sore? Okay, look at this. Did uh, is simple past tense, so the verb must uh, back to infinity. See, not so. Okay. Uh, next, did you sleep enough last night? Uh, next, did you sleep enough last night? Apakah kamu uh, tidur cukup semalam? Now, pay attention, did, here is simple past tense, and sleep becomes uh, verb 1 or infinity. And we also use uh, last night to show the time uh, expression. Next, number 3, did she deliver the pizza on time? Did she deliver the pizza on time? Apakah dia mengantar pizza itu? Dengan tepat waktu Okay, so this is to show a question uh, Give a question to someone that happened in the past time Next, did he clean your room yesterday? Did he clean your room yesterday? Apakah dia membersihkan ruanganmu kemarin? Uh, look at this, did is in simple past time And clean must back to infinity Number five, did they allow you to join their English club yesterday? Did they allow you to join the English club yesterday? Apakah mereka mengizinkan Anda untuk bergabung klub bahasa Inggris mereka kemarin? Pay attention, did is uh, used as a helping verb to give a question to someone that happened in the past time. And then the verb should go back to infinity or verb 1. So uh, these are the points, the, the main points that we have to understand when you are forming a simple past activity that happened in the past time. So next time when you are creating or telling a story to someone, telling uh, your experiences to someone, to people, you have to use simple past. Uh, you have to use simple past time. Uh, well, the last part of simple past tense that I'm gonna uh, share to you is negative interrogative. So when you are making an interrogative in negative sentence or in negative question here is the formulation uh, we use didn't plus subject plus book one plus object plus adverb of time didn't is in negative question so let's pay attention with the with these examples didn't you call me yesterday so when uh, you give a question to someone when you say didn't you call me yesterday so you can answer yes I did in positive answer no, I didn't in negative sentence. Next, the second example is Didn't you understand the lesson? Didn't you understand the lesson? So when you answer in negative, you say No, I didn't. When you answer in positive, you can say Yes, I did. Well, the lesson of simple past activity already finished and I have explained to everybody how to use simple past tense in positive form, in negative form, and interrogative form in negative interrogative form so when you are creating or writing a story writing your experiences you have been able to use this as your resources and don't forget to share also this lesson and like and comment if you think it is good uh, to support this lesson uh, grow and grow in the future